Florida, like you Brown don't. County. Finding a storage unit 101. Make sure you have and have found a storage unit that fits the size of your bus before you buy a bus. Well, we are not lucky like a lot of people who get to keep their buses on property and up north. We are in South Florida where land is limited. Yep. And we live in an apartment. And so that's just one obstacle that you're gonna have to get over. To do this so our only option is to find a storage unit and that sounds easy but to find a storage unit that will fit the bus the bus is 27 feet long and easily 10 feet high and a lot of the largest storage units that are in that are enclosed are a 10 by 20 like we just went into and as you can see public storage in the back but and we found a storage unit that's under maintenance. So the journey begins. It does. Continues. Continues. On to the next storage unit to check availability and to measure everything out. It's been like eight hours from searching. Feels like it. Probably. Honestly. That's South, that's South Florida living for you. So today was a good day. Depends what you consider a good day. I'm by myself, Taylor is in Orlando. But we locked down a storage unit, or per se, a place to store the bus. Um, it's taken us about four days. We haven't even bought the bus yet until we figured out somewhere to put it. But that's just one of the things of living in South Florida. We don't want it to get a garage or like some kind of warehouse bay electrical hookup so we could do everything in house but that was impossible everything is sold out um so we were in kind of a situation we didn't think we would be in but that's just one of the struggles and we are going to keep pushing and one of the reasons why we don't dislike florida but we are ready for change it's just becoming crazy down here everybody from up north is moving down here and, uh, it's the same thing day in and day out. So, the next move will be picking up the bus, driving the bus for the first time, and hopefully everything goes well, and we'll park it there, and that'll be that. All of this was over the course of about a week. We saw the shuttle bus on Monday, and we picked it up on Friday, and here it is. We are literally filming on the side of the road. Cute motorcycle. And the Everglades. And, uh, and the Everglades. And with its wind and we're trying to fight alligators at the same time. 
fun stuff, yay! So we are gonna do a quick little video of kind of around the bus, inside the bus. It is not clean, we didn't clean it, so. We started taking it apart, actually. Yesterday, so. A little late on the showing. But. Yeah, I mean, whatever, it happened. So I'm gonna pause the video and then we'll pick right back up. So to start off, the truck is a 2006 Chevy C4500. And I believe that is a Kodiak. I might be mistaken, I'm not too sure. But it has the Duramax 6.6 LLY. It has the Allison transmission. Those were big key components we were looking for. Um, we got lucky and found it pretty quickly. It is 27.3 feet long, I believe. It is the champion style bus. Yep. Ta -da! So of course we have the, the main entrance. And then this bus did come with a wheelchair lift that we still have to take out. So we have the doors there. That was very important to us. Oh, oh. Can she open them? Oh, she can. Whoa, we got a magical broom. Awesome. Yes, this, these doors were very important to us. For, for our future garage and views, etc. And then you come around the back. We do have this small little door back here. It's not too small, it's a good size. All right, so we're coming in the bus. So obviously here's the front, all of its glory. We did get this one at a really good price and it only had 147,000 miles on it. So that's pretty much like a diesel's half-life. Um, it's dirty. That's the bare register. And windy. And windy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yes, yeah, so we have the, you know, back door as well as the wheelchair lift door when we finally get the wheelchair lift out of the way. It's got a bunch of windows. We started ripping down over here. But I believe the interior space after we have everything ripped out, at least lengthwise, will be about 17 feet. So that's 17 feet of like livable space. And, for and then reference, I am 6'2", and that was another big factor we wanted. So I have how, what, like a good couple inches. Yeah, and by the time so, we rip everything out, and then yeah. the floor, replace the floor, all that stuff. And luckily, they took all the seats out. Yeah, these two. are the only two seats we have, which is good, because then I have a seat belt <laughs> when um, we're driving around. So the wheelchair lift, as well as, we're going to be taking all of this out as well, too. And if you can tell, like, how much freaking space space there is back here this is the electrical box that was already in the bus but so much space back here to be able to have storage and whatnot so yeah that'll be fun starts up every time yeah. all right guys so that is that for now we will have you know and again sorry for the wind we'll have our next video up sometime a few weeks That'll show some demo and stuff that we're doing along with the bus. So follow along with Stay us. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Start start every time. No issue. <laughs> oh.